Welcome back to the Laurel Martin Show. I'm Sam Murray, joined with Stevenson Field Hockey head coach Laurel Martin. And coach, tough week coming up, but before we get to that recap last week, head to uh, head on the road to Gettysburg, an yeah. afternoon game. Right. Um, got the first goal and then struggled a little bit after that. Talk about that matchup. So um, Gettysburg game was an equally matched statistical game. Uh, they, uh, they, they put the balls in the net, and unfortunately we struggled to do so. So... Um, it was uh, one of those games where it was um, a challenging thing to walk away from. I know all the girls were disappointed with the outcome, and um, and we just had to try to bounce back and, and, and look at the next game, which was conference, so a, a huge bounce back from that. Do you think playing – or you guys play a lot of 7 o'clock games, especially at home. Yeah. Do you think playing a 4 o'clock game on the road made a difference? Yeah, you hate to <laughs> you hate to focus on those things, but I do. Uh, I mean, we practice in the evenings. Uh, the majority of our games are in the evening. We seem to peak at that time frame. So, the adjusting to a 4 p.m. game and traveling to a 4 p.m. game, and even the uh, you know the away game, um, any away game at a different field, just with the different surfaces, is uh, is is definitely um, something that we have to learn to uh, to accommodate and just react to better. Yeah, we returned home then on Saturday yeah. for a Mac Commonwealth game against Arcadia. They score first, but then you guys score four straight. Talk about right. that big win. Well, that was um, a, a big adjustment for us. We're trying a new system, trying some people in some different positions. And um, so the first half, we were working through the new system and, and, and adjusting and doing a lot of substituting to find the right fit for the right people at the right spots. And um, we feel pretty confident now. The second half, we um, excelled and put in four goals. And so we, we are pretty pleased with that result for sure. And we feel confident going into uh, York now with that new system and, and a new lineup. So you traveled to York tonight. Yeah, uh, they're a team that's right on the cusp of being ranked. If mm -hmm. they were, if you would extend the poll, they'd be the next team ranked at 21. There. Right. What do you guys have to do different or adjust to to pull out a, a win tonight? Well, again, it's a it's an away game, um, and and they have a lot of momentum, and they they have confidence, and we're just building back into our momentum and confidence. So, in my opinion, I think they should be nationally ranked, and um, I I think that uh, they just the name just hasn't gotten out there enough, but their record shows uh, how strong they are. Uh, but I I think we're going to give them a legitimate fight. Um, we're we're uh, doing some great things. Confidence is high, so I, uh, I I would not be surprised if we secure a win. Um, and I am hoping that at the very minimum we'll give them an absolute fight till the end. Team that does have a name uh, comes comes <laughs> here on Saturday. Messiah, number one in the country, defending national champions. Right. Uh, you guys play them pretty close here at home. So what are you expecting for for that matchup? Again, um, you know, home field advantage is huge. They play on a true AstroTurf. We play on the infill. And um, they have to adjust a lot of their game and their playing style to a different surface, um, just like we have to when we travel to them. So I think that uh, at home, playing them at our standard 7 p.m. time frame is uh, going to be a good advantage to us. So uh, bouncing off of how we do against York will prepare us for, uh, you know, the big name Messiah. And I, there's a player that I wanted to mention, I forgot to mention from mm -hmm. wrapping up last week's game, Tanner Ridgely. Yeah. She scored one goal as a freshman last year. She has six. She scored three goals last week. Right. What type of leadership does she bring just as a sophomore? Well, Tanner was recruited as an uh, MVP in, um, in her area for a defender. And um, when she came on board... I immediately said she's not a defender and then I tried her at midfield and then I kept saying you know she's not really a midfielder either so Tanner's personality is she is all heart she's all hustle and, um, and a lot of time that's what you need on the forward line so we gave her a shot here on the forward line her sophomore year and she's just excelled and um, she's brought a lot of energy to the team and relentless to kid would be challenging to mark because she's all over the place and um, we're very pleased with her performance on the forward line. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck this week. Thank you. Two tough games, and we'll see you back here next week. Okay, thanks. For Coach Martin, I'm Sam Murray, and you've been watching the Laurel Martin Show.